E tīmatanga ki wā tātou nei kaupapa ki karakia tahi tātou. A tau mai te mauri o ngā kōre rohe mauri ai o nuku he mauri ai o rangi. Tēnei te mauri ka whakatāki na ki runga ki e e nei taura. Pōhi hi ko paora ramati ahu i roto marami roto. Hū i te marama hū i te ora. Suturo fiti ka whakamau ai kia tīna, tīna. Hau mi e hui e tāe ki e. A kai ngā mana, kai ngā reo, a kai ngā mau ngā whakahi, kai ngā watapu huri no i te motu, tēnei te mi atu ki a koutou katoa. Tēnei te mi atu ki a koutou ngā hūkenga, o rotu i tō tātou nei whenua taurikura o Aotearoa, tēnei te ngā whātu ki a koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. E tika ana ki a huri o kufakaaro, a ki ngā mate tuatini o te wā, ki ngā mate huhua, E takoto tīraha mai nei ki runga i o tātai marae tini i runga i Aotearoa. Tēnei te tangiake, tēnei te kawe i ngā whakaaro o tīra i ngā roi mata ki a rātou mā o tīra ki ngā whānau e noho pani nei e mau nei i te kākahu o mate. Ko Moana Jackson tētahi pau, ko te kahurangi anō tētahi pau, a ko hunga o rotu i tō tātou nei ao Māori, A tēnei a te ka huake i o tātou nei tini mate ki wānga nui i a tātou i tēnei rā. Wai anō, ko tā mate rātou ki a rātou. Ko te aunga o te moe ki a koutou, te hui hui ngā o ngā kahurangi, 
o ki atu rā ki ngā ringa mahana o tō tātou atua. A kāti ake rā waiho mātou te unga ora ki muri nei. Waiho mā mātou e tangi. Nā reira ko ngā mate tua tini o te wā. Haere. Haere. Haere atu rā. O ki mai ki a tātou ngā kānu i ora. Tēnei te niatu ki a koutou o tira ki a tātou katoa. Ki ara hui hui mai tātou i tēnei rā. Kia ora hui hui mai tātou nga rungo i te kaupapa pa whakawhaiti nei tātou. Ko tēnei kaupapa nui whakaharahara e ai ki tēnei mea te mātou ranga. Nā reira kai ngā mana, kai ngā ihi, kai ngā wehi. Ka rawhiti mai rā ki tō tātou pai ipu rangi. Hei wānanga nanga hei kore roro mā tātou i te rangi nei. Nā reira koe nga noe ho tāku i tēnei wā. Te whakatau nei a tātou i roto i tēnei pai ipu rangi. Huri, huri, huri noa. Te nā koutou. Te nā koutou, a kātia ke rā, te nā tātou katoa. Tō tātou ngā kā, tō te rangi mārī, te hoi o rūngā, tō te waka o te aroha e, a kātia ke rā. A tolo fa lava, nisan bolo fa naka malawe lele, kia ora na tata katoa toa, and very warm greetings to you all this morning. It is my privilege to welcome you all here today and to acknowledge you all today as part of this very virtual hui. So I thank you and I acknowledge those that are here today. Tina kuto, tina kuto, tina kuto katoa. My name is Lee Kershaw Kreitana and I have the privilege of being your MC today. So I will help with the facilitation uh, of our hui, albeit virtually online. So again, thank you for being here today. Uh, and before we get underway, I do have a few uh, household uh, keeping notes. Uh, so for those of you who aren't familiar with Airmeet, uh, we are going to run through some quick tips and tricks uh, to have you get the most out of today. In this session, you will see down the right-hand side of your screen, three icons, chat, Q&A, and polls. The question and answer section is for questions for those presenting. So attendees such as yourselves can like or upvote. The questions they feel are most relevant if we do have time restrictions. So unlike Zoom, you won't see yourself during the presentations. The format is more akin to that of a conference with an audience and a stage. So don't worry. No one else can see you either. So we will forgive you if you're wearing one of those work from, day, uh, work from home day outfits. After our first two panels, you will go back to the lobby. We will have the opportunity for you to join the breakout rooms at a table in the social lounge. If you have any technical issues, we have a team on hand to help. All you'll need to do is message Stuart Chalice from TWZL Events and you will see him with a T Events logo. This hui is about collaboration, working together to achieve the objectives of Rove. Your participation is key to the success of Rove. So I encourage you, please ask questions, chat, join in the breakout rooms, and again, I thank you for being here today. Lastly, I'd just like to pull out a, a quote from Paul Delahunty, who's the current director of TSC, who says 2022 is the year of integration. Nā reira, kei aku rangatira, te nā koutou, te nā koutou, a kia ora, hui hui mai tātou katoa. Um, thank you very much uh, for everybody being here. Um, again, you would have seen a bit of the instructions for our uh, day today. And again, I do encourage you to ask any questions. Uh, albeit we are online, we're going to try and make this as engaging as possible. Um, we are going to move into the section now where we're going to uh, listen to some videos uh, from our ministers. Okay. So firstly, uh, if I uh, could please have the honour uh, of introducing Minister Hipkins. <clears throat> uh, Minister Hipkins is the Minister of Education, Minister for COVID-19 Response, and Minister for the Public Service. He 
He is also leader of the House. In 2019, Minister Hipkins announced the reform of vocational education, or as we will know it, growth, with the aim of delivering a single, strong and sustainable message for vocational education and workplace training. Minister Hipkins calls Rove the biggest change to vocational education in a generation. Tēnā koe, Minister Hipkins. Mā taki taki mai. Tēnā koutou katoa and greetings to all of you. To my colleague, Minister Carmel Sepoloni, to my fellow speakers, and to all of you who have joined us uh, on this opportunity where we can remind ourselves just how far we've come with the reform of vocational education and talk about how we work together for the next stages of the work, very warm greetings to you too. We're at the stage where it's more important than ever that we create a collaborative system with strong connections across each and every part. And I want to take a moment to acknowledge what we've achieved so far. Tapukinga is now in place, well on its way to becoming the largest tertiary education provider in the Southern Hemisphere. We've seen the establishment of workforce development councils. We've also seen the establishment of new regional skills leadership groups. Over half of the ITOs have already transitioned into Tupukinga work-based learning and other training providers, including some private training establishments. This year we'll see the transition of the remaining ITOs. We're making progress on the levers that need to sit behind the reforms, including changes on how we fund vocational education and training. The work on simplifying our qualifications and credentials is underway with a sector working group currently designing and working through what skill standards and national curricula might look like for industry, employers, providers and learners. And that work's being led by the New Zealand Qualifications Authority and the new Workforce Development Councils. The rove changes in education and training are only part of the story though. They're the start of a journey to a greater economic growth and development. This journey brings benefits for learners wherever they are learning, whether they're in a tertiary education organisation or on the job, and for employers and industry. We need our vocational education and training system to deliver the skills that industry needs now. And in order for this to be sustainable and adaptable, we need industry to be able to be involved as active and representative participants. This change is needed to meet today's needs and be ready for whatever the future brings. The world of work is changing significantly. This reform is creating a vocational education system that's ready for the future of work. Skills needed in most jobs are going to continue to change due to technology, the needs of society and the needs of industry. We've still got major skill shortages that must be addressed. There'll be new opportunities to improve the skills of all New Zealanders, no matter where they are at, in their educational journey or in their careers. All regions need to be backed to succeed, and there's strength in combining forces to support each other. We want to make sure that there are relevant quality educational opportunities available to all New Zealanders, no matter where they're located. Work integrated learning will become an increasingly important part of the vocational education system, giving people the opportunity and the flexibility to earn while they learn and to gain an education that's more directly relevant to the changing needs of the workplace. Through these reforms, learners will receive more support while they're in training and in vocational education that is more relevant to the work that they do. They'll be able to move more easily between regions and between work-based and provider-based training, and it'll be easier to continue training if their employment situation changes. The opportunity to earn while you learn is one of the key messages for learners. I'm delighted that you'll be hearing from learners later on today. They're at the heart of these reforms, but they're not always heard in our hui. And I acknowledge it's hard with long, with long term, once in a generation change like this, for an individual studying or training to see how they might fit within the reforms. But understanding the opportunities from increased work based learning and the opportunities from studying in an organisation that has you at the heart of its operating models are benefits for learners now and for future generations. And it's an opportunity for all of you participating in this hui and in this work.
You're all here for different reasons, representing different organizations. But the key point is that you're here to, be cre to create, to implement, and to lead new vocational education and training systems for New Zealand. A new system with new attitudes, new goals, and a new approach. So I want to thank all of you, those present and those who aren't able to join us today, for the tremendous amount of the work that you've put in to help to get us to this point. You've all played a vital role and you're creating a platform for future success. So I encourage you all today to have the conversations and to make the connections that you need to so that the kororo today is carried beyond this hui. So all the best and thanks very much. Tēnā koe, Minister Hipkins, uh, and I would like to encourage and pei tōko da kōrero of Minister Hipkins that this is a part of uh, the day today is getting to know one another and ensuring that we have an integrated approach moving beyond today. So e mihi nui ana ki ākoe, Minister Hipkins, uh, and I like the catchphrase in uh, while you learn. Tēnā te mihi ati ki ākoe. Uh, it is now my privilege to uh, introduce uh, the message from Honourable Minister Sipoloni. Kamal Sipoloni is Minister for Social Development and Employment, Minister for ACC, Minister for Disability Issues, and Minister for Arts, Culture and Heritage. Minister Sipoloni announced the co-chair appointments for the permanent regional skill leadership groups, as we all know, RSLGs, in June 2021. She described the RSLGs as a key part of how the government addresses future skills and workforce needs in our regions. Tēnā koe, Minister Sipoloni. Tāla falava, everyone. I'm really delighted to have the opportunity to provide a message to you all here today. I'd like to acknowledge uh, firstly, each and every one of you and the part you are playing in one of the most significant transformations of our time, the reform of vocational education. We know that workforce and skills needs in the future will be different to what they are today. And it is because of that our government is planning to ensure we have the right skills in the right places at the right time. The reform of vocational education is designed to have a strong focus on employers with training that delivers the skills they need, providing more support for their employees and ensuring greater consistency in vocational education across the country. Longer term, this will increase the number of employers who are engaged in vocational education and training and ensure that Employers know what skills will be in demand and can better plan for them. This will also support people currently in school or those currently not in the workforce to access their, or assess, sorry, their options for the future. As Minister for Social Development and Employment, I am engaged with the employment system as a whole. Alongside the reform of vocational education, there are a number of pieces of work that sit within or connect with my portfolio. These include the employment strategy and the employment action plans, the regional skills leadership groups, and a review of active labor market programs. Closely intersecting with these are the industry transformation plans and workforce development councils. I wanted to give you an update on some of these and how they relate to the kaupapa of today's hui. Active labour market programmes help people at risk of poor labour market outcomes to enter and stay in the workforce. They can include careers, guidance and support to navigate information about training or retraining, support to move into training and work opportunities that lead to higher skilled roles in industries, and financial support, including grants to individuals that remove barriers to work or training and paying wage or training subsidies to employers. As part of the welfare overhaul, we agreed to undertake a review of these programs. My education, employment and training ministerial colleagues and I recently discussed initial findings from a review of existing active labour market programs. The review identified a gap in support for displaced workers, and we've asked officials 
to do further work to identify the quantity and type of support that might be needed to get these people back into good jobs, including those who will be able to draw on the proposed income insurance scheme. Regional skills leadership groups are one of the seven reform of vocational education key work streams. The groups have been characterizing regional workforce challenges and working to identify local solutions. They are part of a joined up approach to labor market planning, which will see the workforce, education and immigration systems working together to better meet the different skills needs across the country. I've been encouraged to see the group's close engagement with stakeholders to share information and intel from a regional perspective. They have also been identifying themes and interacting with other government initiatives, such as the health reforms, to provide on the ground information. This collaboration is vital in the effort to make the skills system easier for both learners and employers and give employers and workers clarity around the skills that will be in demand in the future so they can prepare. The regional skills leadership groups have also been taking into account the employment action plans. This is so important because we know that some people face multiple barriers preventing them from engaging in rewarding, meaningful employment. The seven population specific employment action plans set, and set out how the government will support these groups to develop their skills and achieve their potential with fulfilling careers. In February, I launched Te Mahere Fai Mahi Māori, the Māori Employment Action Plan, and I joined Minister Radhakrishnan as she launched the former refugees, recent migrants and ethnic communities employment action plan in late March. The final three action plans will be launched this year. Another piece of work which intersects with these programs is the development of industry transformation plans under my colleague Minister Nash's portfolio. ITPs aim to support key industries during the transition to a productive, inclusive and sustainable economy. They also have a strong focus on workforce and skills, including consideration of support such as active labour market programmes that target workers at risk of economic displacement to transition to sustainable employment. In tandem with this focus on lifting productivity, the industry transformation plans present the opportunity to also transform environmental and labor market outcomes. They are industry specific. There is no one size fits all industry transformation plan model. Each ITP will look different based on the nature and context. Industry transformation plans are also a way to enable industries to connect into the work of regional skills leadership groups and workforce development councils. So what's next? 2022 is an exciting year when we will see some of the fruits of the important mahi done over the last few years. Workforce development councils will begin producing workforce and skills leadership plans that take a national strategic view of the future skills required in their industries. Regional skills leadership groups will develop their first regional workforce plans in June. My education, employment and training ministerial colleagues and I will be keenly interested in the opportunities that require central support and in how recommendations can be seeded across government to achieve labour market and skills outcomes that cannot be resolved at regional level. Our shared vision to reforming our vocational education system is to ensure that New Zealanders are empowered in the labour market by developing skills, finding secure employment, and engaging in rewarding careers. I just want to conclude by acknowledging the value of the work that you are all doing to achieve this vision. I also want to acknowledge that many of you are dealing with the impacts of COVID often at a very personal level in your own whānau, but also as leaders in your communities whilst undertaking this mahi. Thank you for your commitment, and I look forward to seeing the continued collaboration across all the areas that you are involved in. Mā lo au pito, lava.
it's great to hear the messages from both ministers uh, and I thank you both for the time and effort uh, in constructing those videos uh, for today's event. So, emi inui, emi uh, And as I was listening to uh, the kōrero, um, you know, I was absorbed, I was even writing some own notes and I guess taking some things away from myself. Um, and if I could share that with you all, collaboration and its call out is the importance of our collaboration in the new vocational education system. The need to build strong connections across the entities, which is partly why we're here today, coming together, connecting, understanding where each face is and what each other does. The progress made to date, um, and uh, acknowledging a lot of the good mahi that has been done. And I told Toko Minister Sipaloni, particularly in these troubling times of COVID, you know, we've had to adapt, we've had to change. Uh, so I really like to totoko and acknowledge uh, Minister Sipaloni's kōrero around the COVID uh, mahi. Tēnā katoa. Strength and joining together to support each other. Uh, and finally, my last bullet point, opportunities for all to influence the future in the new system. So again, Kapai uh, ngā mihi ki ngā minita, tēnā, tēnā rangā tū kōrua, uh, ka huri mai ki a tātou. So returning back to us, um, just to give some kōrero, it's great to see a lot of uh, Q&A happening. Kapai, I encourage a lot more of that to happen. So mihi nui ki a koutou, we've got some chats happening, which is fabulous. Um, so kia kaha te kōrero. So keep messaging, keep chatting away, uh, and we'll have people on the other end to um, provide you with some answers. Kapai. Um, at this point in time, um, I think we're going to show you a bit of a poll. Uh, so as part of our day today, just to break it up, um, and before we move into the social lounge, because we do want to give you an opportunity for you to get familiar with the social lounge, opportunity to ch uh, in the chat with one another uh, before we move into our next session, which is with our, our live panel. Kapai. So um, if I could ask our tech crew, if they could please pop up a poll and so the polls, you can actually um, choose them yourself. So it'd be cool to see how this goes. So we're going to have a bit of a go at this. Again, this is encouraging participation, encouraging engagement with one another. So tech crew, Stuart, uh, can we please uh, have a poll up? Oh, okay, to fight. Uh, these are the beautiful things of doing these nice and nearly. Um, we're just going to put the poll on hold, okay, to fight theatre, um, and we're going to allow you some more time uh, in the lounge to mix and mingle with one another. So again, uh, our next session will be starting at 9.30, so you have uh, not too long, just a little bit of time uh, before we get underway. Uh, this will be a live session, so our panellists will be joining us um, to come and, um, yeah, talk about their reform, talk about the, uh, their vision. So we're going to uh, finish this uh, session now. We're going to see you all back here uh, at 9.30. Tēnā koutou.